What's going on, everybody? Luke Jones here, Joker Jonesy. And this update video is probably going to be the most update, um, important update video that I'm going to be doing for this channel, um, at least for the time being. I got a lot I got to say. Got a lot of things we need to talk about. Um, and I just want you folks to kind of know what's going on, how I'm feeling, and all that stuff. Because obviously this channel has been very, you know, you folks are still watching stuff. And I just want to kind of go into a lot of different things. So let's just kind of go ahead and just dive right into it, shall we? So first things first, I've been super busy um, personally. So I just got started back teaching again full time. I'm also in the midst of doing my doctoral degree, um, which is also become incredibly busy. And on top of that, too. I also got invited to do basically a TED talk within my university. And actually of this today, of this going live, I it's it's in two weeks. <laughs> so I've been prepping for that behind the scenes. Um, I've been super busy. And then there's been other stuff with my work. And as you folks know, I love my job. I love being in the, a part of the education system um, in the university environment. It's been so much fun. And actually now because of me, you know, I've been part of the, my university now as a lecturer for three years and getting all these, you know, not promotions, but basically new opportunities to kind of spread my wings. It's been really nice. And I'll, honestly, a lot of the extra skills have been thanks to all the YouTube and the, and the Twitch stream stuff to really kind of help a amplify the stuff I already knew how to do. So thank you folks for kind of giving me a space to kind of stretch, uh, stretch my legs and really give me some opportunity. But I just been so busy that it's just been really hard to even want to try to make content, especially because I'm doing other things in the background. And the videos that I normally like to create, I just don't have time for right now. Um, I'm trying to figure that out, and it's difficult. And I don't necessarily want to force something when I'm not in the mood to make a video. Uh, funny enough, this is actually more fun to do these more serious update videos than do some of the more heavily edited content just for myself personally. Um, not the, the fact that I couldn't do it, but it's just, I like creating the stuff. That's the stuff I like doing. The editing stuff is not necessarily always my fun uh, side of the video editing stuff. I just like to make content. So, um, just the fact that there hasn't been really anything on Mondays or Fridays and eventually for sure Wednesdays, because that stuff is finally starting to dry up a little bit. Don't think that the channel's like completely dead. Um, I'm just really busy and, um, that's going to go into a lot. And speaking of the videos and stuff, we're going to go start talking about um, villainous as a whole in this portion. So um, this is hard to talk about, but for those of you who do not know, I actually left our Disney villainous discord community last week as of the day this is getting recorded. Um, the reason for it, it boils down to, and I really don't like to beat a dead horse, but it boils down to just miscommunication on a lot of different fronts. Um, YouTube content creators, uh, Ravensburger, some other close friends from the content creation community, um, some folks from the community themselves. Um, basically, what it boils down to is I felt like I was being looked at as the villainous guy and not as Luke Jones. And there was some things that happened. Uh, the main thing that really kind of broke the Campbell's back was, you know, I jumped on Ravensburger Twitch stream showing of them showing off Lady Tremaine and Gaston and just talking positively about the game. They just banned me from the, uh, the, the Twitch chat. It was awful. Um, it really struck a, a, it struck me in a way that I wasn't expecting to. And it was kind of that moment where I realized that I can't worry about this anymore. And as for as long as I've been a part of the community, um, from all facets, it was just kind of like that day, everything just kind of came hurling down. And I was just like, no, I don't need to be here. I, I don't need to, I don't need to succumb myself with all this stress and sadness that just has happened here. And you know what? And like I said, it was all about communication. You know, if people want to try to communicate with me about all these different things, I think we'd be in a very different situation. But at that moment, it made me realize that making content for Disney Villainous is done. Um, Ravensburger obviously does not care about what I do right now. Um, I do think they probably do somewhat care, but they're not going about it the right way. And 
I personally right now do not want to publicly support the stuff that they're doing if they think this is the right way to go about um, silencing people. So um, as of right now, Disney Villainous will air the rest of the YouTube videos that I have going up, and it should be going up until around April sometime, maybe early May. I forget. I have to look. Um, once that's done, Villainous will no longer be on this channel, um, at least in TTS form. Um, Maybe in down the road, we will go in to do some Zoom stuff. But uh, based off some other things I know, um, for those who don't know, uh, I was told that the TTS videos and the TTS as itself almost killed the game. And in terms of actually trying to publish it and create it. And I wasn't known about this until about two months ago. Or no, a month ago. My bad. Um... And that sucked to hear because I would have obviously changed the way I was doing things if it actually caused licensing harm. And you can say, yeah, well, you're using an emulator and stuff like that, but it's a common thing in the tabletop gaming space that, you know, TTS is fine as long as you're not sitting here telling people just to play it on TTS and not buy the copies. And I, I own double of all everything. I own two copies of everything, if that tells you how much money I've spent on Villainous as a whole. So... Um, you know, I just, I, my heart's not in it anymore with, um, Villainous on the content creation side. I still love the game. I actually got to play Villainous in the flesh uh, a few times in the past week, and it is, it is a blast still to play. It's just, I cannot make content anymore for this game when other content creators, community members, the publisher want to view me not as Luke Jones and just as the Disney Villainous guy who plays games on TTS. Um, I don't like getting lectured. And I don't like it when my feelings get hurt and people don't view my feelings as the f number one. So um, be better. Um, check on and check on people too. Uh, so yeah, villainous isn't coming back anytime soon uh, on this channel once the rest of the stuff goes up. So um, yeah, let's get on to what's the, what's the future of the channel. So with that, um, I know <laughs> that was probably a lot to hear, especially for a lot of you folks that were here for the Disney Films content. Um, I do know that a lot of you folks are here for the personalities that are on this YouTube channel. Uh, for those of you who have been watching on Twitch, you know we've been doing Will Smith Mondays now pretty uh, consistently since the start of this year. And I've talked to Will. I've talked to our other friends that we've been having on Will Smith Monday. And we definitely want to keep doing that. Um, as a matter of fact... We're actually making plans to do some content together, maybe a, a month or two down the road once I'm a little less busy with my work in school. So um, the future of Brought the Table is going to be this. Um, Will Smith Mondays are going to start being uploaded to the channel probably within a month's time. Once I start getting out of this little thing of work and school really hammering me down, the archives for the Will Smith Mondays are going to start going up. I don't want to spoil what we're working on, because it's actually a really cool idea. But we are planning on doing a show that's going to be like a podcast that we're going to try to do weekly that is not brought to the table podcast, is not Let's Get Wicked. Um, it's going to be basically a bunch of friends hanging out, having a good time. But it's going to be over something that they all really enjoy doing. So that's going to be something we're going to be working on on the future. Um down the road and that's something i'm actually super stoked to be a part of because it's the first time i've really kind of done it and what's cool too is that i get to do this with my friends and i think if anything i've learned from all that's happened in the past few weeks is that i like making content with my friends that is kind of you know there are two things i've learned you know from making youtube videos uh, over the past year uh the reasons why i do them there's three one Brutally honest, I started making villainous YouTube videos so I could learn to love the game again because I had some personal things in my life that were harming it very much so, and I want to get that message out there about why I love that game so much. Two is because I want to show people how awesome games are, not just Disney Villainous, all these other games that I love to play, not even just tabletop games, video games. Uh, we've been actually playing a lot of video games on the on the Will Smith Mondays. We played Mario Kart and Minecraft these past two times. And I'm already making a thing of it that once a few other games start getting the chamber and I get some more free time, I'm going to start streaming personal playthroughs of some games. Crash Bandicoot 4, Persona 5, 
some other things. Um, and I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, and it's just a fun hobby for me. But uh, the third thing and probably the absolute most important thing is that, you know, tabletop games, you need to have someone across the table from you to play them. And those people are usually people that are your friends, people that you care about, people that you want to play games with outside of content creation, um, people that you care about that you just want to sit and talk to about whatever. And that's something I've learned these past few weeks of what's most important is that it's about the people, people that you get to make this content with um, because they're your friends and they're people that you don't, you don't want to force to make content with you. You know, it's, we're making content together because we're having fun being with each other, the friendships. Um, you know, you look at all these different YouTubers that are kind of like groups and they've like started working as like friends and, you know, they kind of break up because, you know, they have trying to do YouTube for a living. And, you know, obviously those friendships just, you know, get destroyed because, you know, business stuff and, you know, different creative ideas clash and stuff like that. But, you know, I never want to do that to my friends. Um, if I ever felt like I was going to force them to be in content with me, I, I that wouldn't feel right. And that's what's been so awesome about Will Smith Mondays is because, especially because we've been having more folks on Will Smith Mondays, we're just having fun. We're just hanging out. And especially now that we're not forcing ourselves to play games just to play games, like we're, we're literally there for the conversation to have fun with each other. And you folks that are in chat and those of you who watch the, the streams and stuff, you folks are there for it too. Um, you're there for the conversation for to be a friend. Um, and that's why I like making content is because I get to be with my friends and get to make cool stuff with my friends. So that's kind of the, the pillars of really, you know, making content. And, you know, I, I learned too with all this other stuff is just like, you know, I, I am very fortunate that this is a hobby to me. Like this is truly a hobby. I don't need to get sent free stuff. I don't need to get sent, um, you know, free copies of games or get paid to cover a game. I literally have the money to go buy, you know, a game and just play it on the shows and have fun. Um, and obviously, when we, I get sent free stuff, I'm really appreciative of it. And honestly, when I, if and when that happens, guess what? I'm going to talk about it because that stuff is stuff I care about. Um, that is stuff that I'm passionate about, and I want more people to be in the eyes of it. That's why the whole Brought to the Table show is a thing, and it will come back. Just I'm super busy, and that show requires editing. Um, but... You know, I want to make stuff that I care about with the people that I care about. And I think that's most, most important about everything that's going on with this channel and, you know, the community and all that stuff that we've kind of centered everything around is, you know, that's what's most important is the people. And I'm trying to be human with you folks right now. You know, people are the most important thing. When you look at any video... I want you to think of that person behind the, the computer screen. And when you might want to make that snarky comment in the YouTube comments or with them on Twitter, just remember that there is so much more happening beyond what you're seeing on that screen, whether good or bad, or maybe something you might not like about them anymore, or maybe something you're like, someone that you normally didn't like, you're like, oh, wow, they're really being human with me right now. I can relate to that. And... That's really the message I want to get across with you folks today. Um, so when is all the brought to the table content coming back? Starting around May and June is when we'll start really picking up on the videos again. Um, where I'll actually have time to sit down and really kind of start planning out, you know, show, shoving the, the Will Smith Monday archives onto YouTube. Um, this one show, we're calling it right now, um, is what we're going to call it. Uh that we're going to end up starting to work on. Will I be doing other things? I do will say that the game that myself and Will Smith are working on, um, we will eventually showcase that on this YouTube channel and it's going to be awesome. I cannot wait for you folks to see more of that. Um, I know a few folks might have been able to tune into those streams to go see that stuff. But once that game is available to show you folks, you folks are going to love it, and I cannot wait. It has been a huge passion project that we've been working on with some other folks too. And guess what? We've been, we've been making that game with our friends. 
And that's what's making this, that game super special is that it is a game for us that we are making with friends that we're going to make to have more feel, folks come in and have the same feeling of friendship when they're playing this game across the table. So um, that's that's really the update. Um, May, June is when you're going to start seeing more content. We are going to have a new show. I think you folks are really going to like, especially if you like the personalities that are usually on these videos. Um, Disney Villainous videos are going to end. Um, they may come back. It's just, it's not going to come back in the form that you folks are probably used to seeing. Um, just being honest. And, uh, Will Smith Mondays will start being uploaded very soon. Um, just not yet. I'm also incredibly busy, man. <laughs> I got things to do. I'm doing this on my Saturday when I should be trying to relax. But no, I wanted to make this for you folks. Cause I know you folks want to know what's going on. Um, especially for those of you who aren't part of the Discord communities or follow me on Twitter and you're probably like, well, why is there not that much that stuff? Um, this is me just trying to be human with you folks. Um, because I think it's important that you folks kind of know what's going on and where my headspace is because this last week was an incredibly hard week. Um, made some difficult decisions that I had to do that, I, you know, were for the better, you know, because I, you know, if you want me to see, still enjoy seeing me make content that I'm excited about, I need to make sure I'm okay. And I hope you folks are doing okay too. I hope you folks are staying happy, healthy, and safe. And as always, forever always, staying delightfully wicked. Be excellent with each other. And the words of the God of War man, Kratos himself, be better. I'll see you folks on the next uh, playthrough video of Disney Villainous, Villainous that's going to be uploaded tomorrow. I hope you still enjoy it. Um, until then, I'll see you folks next time.